Health Beat with Dr. Benita Zahn. Too often we've seen tragedy happen when a person with intellectual cult and developmental disabilities runs into trouble in a social setting, particularly if police are involved. Well, now these folks can obtain standardized ID cards. This helps first responders better interact with this population. And a champion of the cards, really the man behind it, is Democratic Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara from Rotterdam. He's a dad to a son with autism. Good to have you with us. Thanks. Thanks for having me on the show. We have seen problems we, with deadly consequences. Particularly when police don't understand what's happening. So you've been what five years in the making for this card? Yes, this is one of my uh, first bills introduced in the assembly. Uh, it's uh, part of a package, an autism action plan uh, that uh, I developed over the years. Uh, they, a, a series of bills that actually work together. This is a companion bill uh, that goes along with the autism training we're now providing across the state. Uh, the first of its kind training for law enforcement and first responders. Uh, and what what this bill does is it adds a new communication tool. I wonder we've got we can put it up. On the screen, yeah. and I've got a developmental disability. Um, they have understanding, you know, difficulty understanding and following your directions. May become unable to respond. You know, physically agitated. Does the person who carries this do they fully understand that in the moment of being threatened, to pull it out? And hand it? Well, there's a number of ways this can work. Uh, this is, first of all, it's an optional card. Uh, it's available upon request, uh, free of charge uh, through OPWDD. Uh, this is a tool for, you know, sometimes it's kids we're talking about. So it could be a, ca a caregiver, a parent, uh, a guardian, or it can be an individual that carries uh, the card. They may have limited verbal skills. Uh, and it's not just for, uh, you know, uh, we're not just talking about law enforcement here. We're talking about emergencies as well, where a person may be involved in an accident or some sort of uh, emergency. Where uh, to, uh, firefighters or first responders to be able to better serve that individual really needs to have some of this information. I should point out the back side of the card. Yes, that it had yes. your son's information on it, <clears throat> yeah. so I don't want to put it up on the screen. It says who they are and where they yes. live. So and my son uh, has limited verbal skills. He's 17 now. Wouldn't be able to respond if he were ever lost or, uh, you know, uh, uh, wander, w w wanders away for whatever reason. If he was found, he wouldn't be able to, s to give his name uh, or be able to say, I live. Uh, at a certain address, my parents are. That information is on here, along with important information about his diagnosis. Uh, that you know, he has anxiety and stress. He, he, he has uh, in stressful situations. Uh, he's sensitive to light and sound. Uh, he has. It talks about limited communication skills. He may not be able to to answer simple questions like that. Would your son know in a situation that he feels threatened to take the card out and hand well, it? Well, I think on my son and his case, it would be found on him. So uh, it, it's. I look at this as no different than a non-driver ID or a passport or uh, a, a, a driver's license that carries specific information, but it does not carry this information, which is important uh, when interacting uh, with a person with autism or related condition. It's important to know what the diagnosis is to be able. To, and I, I give this, I give the example of a, a firefighter trying to assist someone that's that's, that's involved. Uh, they want to help, but to know. To know this diagnosis information allows them to better serve. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, you know, whether it's airport security. I can't tell you how many times I've gone through airport security where I'm trying to explain, you know, what my son's uh, difficulties are. Uh, it's nice to have a standardized car. Right. This is the first standardized cars across the state. And what, it, and what we've seen in the past is homemade notes. Parents would write notes and put it in the kids' pockets or locally issued IDs, and they're all a little bit different. This is standardized. Law, law enforcement first responders are going to be trained to recognize this card, to look for this card when they, inter when they have interactions with those uh, that are, have a, a, a developmental disability. It's been a big hit, hasn't it, since you first well, launched? Well, it's uh, we've been waiting for this bill to be to be passed for a long time. Uh, last year, we had a, a record number of three bills passed in my autism action plan: the early screening, which now happens at 18 months, uh, versus the three years where my son was diagnosed at three. Uh, some kids were not being diagnosed till age four or five. Now we're doing it much much earlier, getting those kids the help that they need. The autism training for first responders, which has been a tremendous success, has helped uh, so many uh, uh, mm -hmm. law enforcement and firefighters across the state. And now this, this card, 
we're approaching 3,000 cards issued, uh, almost 3,000 cards, and it hasn't even been a week since we, we, we announced the, uh, that the cards were available. And so, I should point out, we're taping this at the end of February. We'll yes. see this. It'll post in a oh, week. May, yes. By then, <clears throat> yes. you could be at six, ten thousand. 10,000. Can a person obtain more than one card so that they can put it in the kids' you know, pocket sort of in, all over the place? Absolutely. Yes, they can apply. Uh, they, it can be done online. They can call my office a number of ways. Uh, again, the, it's, there's no cost to the individual. Uh, it's a communication tool. You know, it may not be something that works for everybody, but it's available upon request. For my son, I know it works for, for with the limited communication skills. Uh, for a parent or a guardian, again, I give the uh, the example of being in a crowded theme park or being at airport security or during an emergency. First responders will know to look for this card uh, if there uh, or it can be found on a person, just as you would look for any ID. Thank you. I know the community of parents that you belong to are thanking you as well. And we'll make a link to the website so that folks can get their hands on, they'll be able to download, that's wonderful. You know, to thank ask you. for that. Thank, thank you. you. Very pleased to see that the awareness uh, has increased, and that's what's led to that's a lot key. of this legislation. One in 59 now are diagnosed mm -hmm. with autism, more than 3.5 million Americans. Uh, it's it's uh, bills like this that are really making a difference. We're really changing lives, offering new opportunities for people to engage their com their own community on their own terms. Assemblyman Santa Barbara, thanks so very much, thank you. and thank you for joining us. And you can check out all the Health Beat programs, new programs post every Monday and Thursday. And again, just go to our you know you're going to be at the website if you're watching this. Go over to where we have uh, links, and you can find the information to access the card. We'll see you next time.